What's going on, everybody? This is a video on um, Eagles interviews. First, now I'm, I, I'm gonna miss Andy Reid. I'm not gonna miss that much about him. I mean, I mean, I've been wanting Reid fired since '09, the year we we played the um, Cowboys in a wild card game in the playoffs, and we got blown out 34-14. Yes, I think so, 34-14. When we first year we had Vic, we had one of Vic there to help run, run a Wildcat. Um, so I'm hearing, I'm reading rep articles and reports that the Eagles are looking to interview Atlanta Falcons um, defensive coordinator Mike Nolan, as he's known to be widely as one of the great defensive, the great defensive minds in the NFL, from what I hear. But then again, I hear I hear, report, I hear stories that he chose to draft um, Alex Smith over Aaron, Aaron Rodgers. Some some nonsense like that. That's what I heard. I don't know for sure not, but I can believe it. I mean, I heard he coached Forty Nine and he, he he didn't he had like an eighteen thirty seven record. I think from, I think that's what it said. From, oh oh, record span. So. If we have hired Mike Nolan, and I'm in all for a defensive-minded coach. I mean, I'm, I, the most defensive-minded. I don't. I hardly ever pay any attention to, attention to coaches, except the coaches on my own team. I'm only defensive-minded coach I pretty much know know of uh, is um Rex the Ryan's the Ryan brothers Rex and Rob Ryan um um. I'm just now actually I've been knowing about Mike Nolan, but I didn't know he was defense minded. Um, and a couple others, so I just can't think of the top of my head right now. But I do think if we get Mike Nolan and the real defense as head coach and the, and the real defense coordinator, we might be able to do something. With this team, the same team, we might do something. The same defense, we could do something. We get a real office coordinator, not that nonsense Marty Mortimer could be calling, I'm, and I'm so certain that Marty Mortimer will be fired next. We get a real offense coordinator like to actually balance, it, balance it, the offense, pass and run it. I think it would be, I think it would be great. We have, we can go somewhere, I think. I believe we can go somewhere. No lie, I believe we can go somewhere. Hey, why not? Why not give Mike Nolan a chance? Look at, I mean, Josh, or um, Josh McDaniels. Or me, uh, if, if we're going to get somebody offensive minded, I'd like to see Mike McCoy because he he first designed the offense for, had the offense designed for Tim Tebow, then they get paid man, so he designed the offense for him right away. So he seems to be an offensive genius, and he's, if I was one of the offensive, my God, I would just, I would um hire Mike McCoy. But if I'm gonna hire somebody defensive minded, I'm here's my my defensive minded people I would I would hire. It would be my defensive minded people I would hire would be out of Rob or Rex Ryan or Mike Nolan. But yeah, nothing about Mike Nolan. I didn't. Know, it's, it's just funny. His name makes no sense at all. Even though it's his father's name, I read that he has a father named Dick Nolan. <laughs> I just couldn't help but laugh at it, Dick Nolan. But yeah, we get Mike Mike Nolan's head hey, hey, coach. I think I think that'd be an okay hire. I don't know if it's the second or third time around. Then do research. I haven't done research on the guy yet, so I really can't say. I'm guessing it's the second time around coaching the team. He might do better. So I guess they they hire him. Well, we, yeah, I really don't know when they're, gonna, they're supposed to um, interview him. I, th there's reports saying that he's supposed to interview Wednesday, and Wednesday he's supposed to um, interview on Friday. All in all, that's that. Peace out.